everybody, welcome to Gluten Free For All TV. If you're looking for a super tasty, a super quick, and a super yummy pasta dish, then you need to try this bacon broccolini pasta. The great thing is you can use any type of gluten free pasta for this dish. For this demonstration, I'm going to use spiral pasta. For a quick and easy meal for two, it's important to prepare all your ingredients ahead of time. This is going to make this dish such a breeze to make. To get started, bring two pots of cold water to a boil and season well with salt. Now some people ask, why do I have to use cold water? Well, what you may not realize is if you're using warm water from your tap, it's likely to have a funky taste because it's been sitting in your hot water tank over an extended period of time. It's for this reason it's always recommended to use really cold, fresh, salted water so your pasta doesn't take on any bad flavors. The main ingredient in this pasta dish is a tender stem broccoli, or as some people call it, broccolini. Unlike traditional broccoli, it has smaller stems, smaller heads, and is slightly sweeter in taste. It's really yummy, not to mention high in antioxidants and iron. Simply wash the broccolini and remove any thick stems. I'm making this recipe for two people, so you'll need about two cups of broccoli in total. We're going to blanch these for a couple minutes just to get the cooking process started. We're going to finish them off in the pan at a later time. Now that our water's boiling, pop them in and let them cook for about two minutes. You don't want to overcook them though, you don't want them to turn mushy and fall apart. Just cook them until they turn a nice bright green color and they're just turning tender. Immediately place in a nice bath to stop the cooking process. We don't want our broccolini to get mushy, we still want to have a bit of a crisp taste to it. Dry on some paper towel and then roughly chop and set aside. Try not to cut through the florets, just the stems. Now that that's done, let's get the rest of our ingredients together. Finally chop about 4 or 5 rashers of bacon. Smoked or unsmoked doesn't matter, just make sure it's gluten free. You'll need 2 garlic cloves, thinly sliced, and about a teaspoon of red hot chili peppers. More or less depending on your taste. Next, you're going to need a good handful of fresh mint, around a quarter cup. This lovely ingredient is going to infuse a lovely, cool and fresh taste to our pasta. I've been told not to chop mint, but to tear it apart little bit by bit. Not only will this prevent the leaves from turning black, it helps release the essential oils from the leaves. The next ingredient we need to prepare is our buffalo mozzarella or a boccaccini cheese. When this melts in our pasta, it's going to create a lovely stringy cheesy goodness. One ball of mozzarella should do. Just rip it into tiny itty bitty little pieces. You could probably also get away with using pearl mozzarella. Just cut them in small pieces as well. And finally, our last ingredient, about a half a cup of finely grated really good quality Parmesan cheese. Now that we have all our ingredients together, let's get cooking. This should take us about 10 minutes to make. In our other pot of hot boiling salted water, add about two cups of your favorite gluten-free pasta. While that's cooking away, we're gonna start on our bacon. Add one tablespoon of oil to a hot pan and then add your bacon. We're gonna cook this until it gets really nice and crispy, about five minutes or so. Once done, add your broccolini spears. You should have about four minutes left on your pasta at this point. Timing's everything for this recipe. Saute these for about a minute or so gently mixing without breaking up the broccoli florets. Frying them in the bacon fat will help them brown a little bit and finish off the cooking process. By now our pasta should almost be done. Now add your thinly sliced garlic, trying to ensure that it doesn't burn on the bottom of the pan. Give that a quick mix and then add your chili peppers. With a slotted spoon or tongs, add about two cups of gluten-free pasta directly to your frying pan. Be sure not to throw out your leftover pasta water as we're gonna use some of this to make up the base of our sauce. By now you can turn your stove top off and add your Parmesan cheese. Give it a good toss until it's all melted through and then we're going to add about a quarter cup of the leftover pasta water. I'd say about one or two small ladles will do. This is going to form the base of our sauce. Finally, add your chopped mint and then evenly distribute your boccaccini cheese throughout the pasta dish. You want to avoid it being clumped together. Give it one last toss just until the mozzarella starts to melt and you're almost done. Serve it up in one big bowl or on individual plates. Finish the dish with a little extra Parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper, a squeeze of lemon juice, and a good drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Delicious! So if you liked that video and you want to see more, be sure to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching!